All right, what's up, y'all? Not today. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make my six seven uh, facilitating finisher, aka the play lock. Um, now this is my first build, like my first ever build on 2K. Well, not my first ever build, but my first. I made a pure lockdown at first, but I ended up making this build. I ended up grinding out this build, so this. So you can say this is my first build. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it. First of all, you want to make a shooting guard, and of course, he's the playmaking and uh, defending pie chart. Um, <clears throat> now for the physical profile, I chose balance, but you can also choose this one. Uh, I chose it because like everything is like really balanced, like on the physicals, like everything's like high 80s, low 90s. When you like uh, get the Gatorade boost in the in the 95 plus overall, but I mean you don't really need strength like that. But I would, if I was to go back, I would probably choose this one. But this is the one I have on my build, so I'm showing y'all everything that I have. Alright, so I went ahead and filled out my stats for my build. Now, like I said, this is my first ever build on 2K20 ever. Well, that I grinded out. And, uh, now I'm pretty sure, like with a lot of you, I would make some changes to your first build. But this is like the build I play on almost every day. Um, so, yeah, these are my stats. Um, if you want to make changes to it, you can. Like, I don't really think you need interior defense like that. Uh, you could probably slide it towards a block. Put your block rating up a little bit. Now my block rating on my current build right now is uh, uh, at 97, it's at 49, but I still get a lot of blocks regardless. I get a lot of chase downs. The only thing that I don't see is uh, snatch blocks like that. Like I got a couple of snatch blocks this year, but I haven't. I don't really get that much because my block rating is so low. But just because your block rating is low don't mean that you won't get blocks. And um, yeah. Now my finishing badges, I have 11 of them, but you don't really need 11 finishing badges. Um, you don't really need 10 shooting badges, you don't really need 17 playmaking, 18 defensive. Now a lot of people say, man, you should have you should have sacrificed some of your defensive for finishing and vice versa or whatever. I'm like, I'm like, you can really say the same thing for any category in this game. Like I say, you don't need, it's only a certain amount of badges that you need in each category. So I mean, like I said, that little argument of like you need more but you need more badges here uh compared to here i mean it's really like personal preference and like i said you only need a certain amount of badges in each category but like having more is just a plus you know but with that being said like i said you don't really need 11 finishing you could probably live with like seven or even i don't even know i'm just throwing a number out there but uh yeah, man. But the reason I have a, set, a, a 36 standing dunk is when I hit 97, I'll be able to get the standing dunks, like the under ram dunks or whatever. So I won't go a week every time while I'm standing like under the hoop. But y'all can change that if y'all want to. Uh, I like to have my uh, standing dunk at at least a 40 or going towards a 40 when I hit 95 plus for the reason I said, because uh, you get the standing dunks or whatever. And uh, yeah. Like I said, you can change anything you want. This is how I have my build set up. And uh, I don't know if I said this or not. Um, I really had this build like set up to have shot creating takeover. And uh, that's what I did. Uh, and what I recommend shot creating takeover, it really depends on your play style. I mean, I like it a lot. But if you play off ball, like in any type of way, man, I'm gonna tell you to go, I'm gonna, I might tell you to go towards slashing or even lock takeover because um, if you play off ball with shot creating takeover, it's hard to get over a 97 with this build. Like I'm always a 97 on this build because I'm like I'm playing lock, and I don't really have the ball in my hands like that. Now don't get me wrong, this build can ISO, and it's like real like it's real efficient at ISO. You know the play lock builds like the, it's like the meta build like in this game. <laughs> but yeah, man. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend shot creating takeover if you play off ball a lot. But if you can deal with being a 97, you know. You can do that, and even at 97 with this build at 67, which is my height. Oh, I'm sorry, I went past this. I chose my body shape was uh defined. Yeah, 67. Uh, at 97, you get the contact dunks, and uh, I get a lot of contact dunks on this build. Don't get me wrong. And then my my weight, I went with 233 because um I, I don't know why I went with 233. I, I really forgot, but this is what I chose on my build. Like I said, you can change anything you want. You can even change the physical to have more speed and agility and all the other stuff. But this is my literal first build that I use every day. 
But like I said, I'm pretty sure y'all would make some changes to y'all's build, to y'all's first ever build. This is what I did. But I, 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 I like it. I mean, I can't really complain. I've been using it all year, so I mean. Now my wingspan, that's a little glitch with the ball handle with the wingspan on this build for some reason. Now my wingspan is two for max, aka 86.6. Now look at my ball control. My ball control is a 74. Now as soon as I, as soon as I go off of this wingspan, I go back to it. Watch what happens. Boom! It's a 73 now. So y'all, if y'all make this build, y'all have to watch out for that. I don't know why 2K tries to finesse this like that. So if you like um come across this make sure y'all check the stats even on any other build i don't know if it's if this is just like unique to this build but this is what happens when you like click off of the 86.6 wingspan and then go back to it this gives me it'll uh it'll drop your ball control by one for some reason but to fix that you just go back to it and stay on it and don't uh don't go off of it that's how you do that and um yeah like i said i chose this build for shot creating takeover and like my stats like I really had to finesse my stats. I remember for like finesse all of my stats just to get shot creating takeover. So uh <clears throat> the reason y'all see some of my stats the way they are is for this reason right here, for the shot creating takeover. Like I said, I, I love shot creating takeover, man. It's goaded, but it's not for everybody. But um If I was to say I would choose either slashing or lock take, depending on how you want to do it. Um like when I made this build, I didn't know that you could get uh, the slash takeover gave you a plus in your ball control. I thought it was just a uh, playmaking and, and uh, shot creating. But come to find out, slashing also gives you a plus ten. But uh, but if you choose lot take, you won't be able to speed boost. Well, let me, let me not say speed boost. You won't be able to momentum with takeover because uh, you get a plus five with lot takeover. And uh, I'm pretty sure at 97, I have a 76 ball control. That'll be a 81. So you'll probably need somebody, with, even with floor, somebody with floor general alone, you wouldn't be able to speed boost. But uh, maybe at a high overall, definitely at a high overall with somebody with uh, floor general alone. But in my case, I just need to hit 97. I get a placement on ball control. I have an 86 ball control with takeover, and I'll be able to uh, momentum. Same thing with uh, slash and take and playmaking take, of course. Um, yeah, that's really personal preference. Like I said, I made this build strictly to, to, be, uh, to have the shot created takeover, man. I don't know why I fantasized about shot created takeover like at the beginning of this year. Like, I literally had to change all of my stats. I remember, like, from this, all of my stats just to get this takeover at this at this wingspan. Let me say that because um, if you go up one, you won't get it. So, yeah, and for some reason it disappeared. Oh, yeah, I forgot the ball control. But, yeah, make sure y'all watch out for that wingspan glitch, man. I don't know what that's about but uh that's what happens for some reason and uh yeah but, yeah to fix it go back to it actually let me go back go back these are my stats again like i say you can change anything you want i had this build set up for shot creating takeover like i said like ten thousand times now and um yeah man you can tweak it you can tweak it any way you want it's my first build like i said i don't know how many times i said that so I would, I would probably make a little bit of changes here and there, but I probably wouldn't change anything like too dramatic. Body type, body shape is defined. Height six seven, of course. The weight is two thirty three. The wingspan eighty six point six. Make sure you don't go off of it. Make sure you keep keep it on. Make sure you have that seventy four ball control at this wingspan. And uh, back to the uh, takeover. Like I said, I chose shot creating take. Done. They'll call me a facilitator finisher. All right. So before I uh, ended this video, I want to share my build at 97. Here it is. Like I said, my physicals—they're pretty balanced. Um, like I said, I probably—if I was to go back, I probably most likely would have chose the agility or whichever part chart it is to take it from the bottom. I mean, the stats—they look—they look pretty decent. I keep in mind I'm an elite two, meaning that I have a gym rat. Meaning that I have plus four on all of my attributes. It's really a plus six because the 97 is a plus two. But if I was a 99 or a 99.9, I would have a 90 speed, 84 acceleration, 88 strength, 85 vert, and uh, stamina is always going to be a 99 regardless. But uh, you don't really need that 80 plus strength, man. That's that's my opinion on it. I don't really see the benefits of having a high a higher strength. 
Now, if you were to choose the balance, not the balance, but the the second one from the bottom, I think it should to be like a 70 something, or something like that. At least a 70, a high 60 something. I don't really know. It's just, I, I don't know. But everything else will be higher. Excuse me, a couple points. Like speed, acceleration, avert, all of that. And your avert really matters. Acceleration really matters. Speed really matters. Strength, not so much. So that's why I said I would probably most likely uh, change that if I was to go back. But I just want to share all, like my build as is. Like I said, this is my first ever build. So, uh... Like I said, there's plenty of y'all out there that regret like not putting this on your first build or whatever. Y'all would make changes to your first build. And this is my first build, so like I said, I'll make some changes to it. Uh, I know I'm not alone in that, but a lot of y'all have been asking about my first ever build, or, or this build in particular. Like, I'm, like I said, I made this build before, but uh, well, I made this build video before, um, but this is like a couple months ago, like at the beginning of the year, eight months ago or something like that. But here it is, here are my stats. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because it's getting kinda long. So yeah, man, it's pretty much does it. A lot of y'all been asking for my build. And I have like two different versions of this build. I have one with slash and take, and I have one with uh, the shark crate and take. Now, this is my, this is the one I have on every single clips or every single video that y'all see of my six, seven play lock. I don't have any other play lock, but this play lock and um, I did make a video, like I said, of one with slash and take, but I changed, like, I put blocks on them this time, and the bad setup is a little bit different, but you'll be go to with either one that you choose. A lot of you have been asking what this build is specifically, and here it is. I already made a video on that build, but this is, like, an updated version of it or whatever, so do do this what y'all want, and uh, make sure y'all sub up, man, 4K on the way, and I'm out, y'all.